Welcome back to our value investing channel. Today we have a really interesting things to analyze. I'm sure you are already aware about the new merge between AT&T, Warner Bros. Part and Discovery. You can find many many videos out of there on YouTube about this topic, so why I'm doing another one? Because for sure I want to give my opinion as well, in fact I am already an investor on Discovery, but at the same time I want to highlight something very very important. In fact, everybody has spoken about the dividend cut from AT&T, but nobody has spoken about the fact that in terms of cash flow, it's the same thing to have 3.5 years of dividend in advance. That sounds really, really great comparing a dividend cut. So you really need to keep this in mind when you are going to decide if invest or not, if sell or buy AT&T stocks. If you don't believe me, just stick with with the video and now I will going to explain what's my opinion about this merge what will be the future stock price of AT&T and what will happen about cash flow and those 3.5 years dividend advance paid. Let's start with the business. So from this chart we know what will happen with this new company that is going to burn. So we will have 100% of discovery business plus Warner Media and part of debt that will come from AT&T. Just to have the idea about what are the number involved of this kind of merge, let's do some calculation that are not precise but will make us understand what are number beyond this merge. So Discovery market cap nowadays is around 20 billion and we know that Discovery will be just 29% of this new company. So 20 billion divided by 0.29 it means that the new company is worth more or less 70 billion. So 70 billion minus the value of discovery that is 20 billion, it means that the Warner Bros part and the debt is worth around 50 billion. And here it comes the first things to highlight, because AT&T paid 85 billion to acquire Warner Bros. And now just after 2-3 years it's selling by approximately 50 billion. So it really was not a good deal for AT&T. In fact I never invested in this company because the level of debt was really really high and generally speaking the business was quite confusing because the company was then working on two really different kind of business telecommunication and streaming but with this merge everything is going to change really really in a positive way in fact let's check this chart you can see that the biggest player of the market is Netflix with 200 million of subscribers then you have Amazon Amazon Prime but this is a little bit tricky in fact the subscription is to Amazon Prime shopping service and then you use as well the streaming part then you have Disney Plus with 100 million of subscribers and here it comes Discovery with 15 million and HBO Max with 44 billion and this is the part that comes from AT&T and will be merged with Discovery so after this merge we have the third big player in the streaming business so it's going to burn really a leader of this sector in fact even if by number of subscribers maybe it's just the third player but actually in terms of revenue warner and discovery will become the second largest media group after disney because its revenue will be around 41 billion and will increase to 52 billion by 2023. You can think that Netflix has 25 billion in revenue, so will be almost the half of the revenue that Warner and Discovery will have together. So after this merge, we will still have AT&T as a leader in telecommunication business, and then we have a new market leader in streaming business. I am a Discovery investor at this moment in time. If you want to check my public portfolio the link is just below in the description the portfolio can be even copied for free and you can see that my investment in discovery is quite a huge one in fact the position is 6.5 percent of my portfolio and at this moment in time is not going really well in fact we have minus 27 percent but i was really positive when i bought my first position in discovery and nowadays with this merger i'm really really happy as an investor and i'm thinking 
to add some more position in my investment. At the same time could be even a good opportunity if you were thinking about investing in AT&T, despite the fact that they will cut the dividend and we will discuss this in a while. As I said before, you will have stocks about two market leaders in two different sectors. But why I said that in terms of cash flow is the same things to have 3.5 years of dividend in advance if you are an AT&T investor. In order to understand we need to know exactly how those dividend works and we need to do a little bit of math, but I'll try to make it really really easy. Let's start by understanding how dividend works, maybe this will be really good known for most of you, but I prefer to spend two words in terms to be all aligned and everyone can understand what we are going to say. So the day that the dividend is paid, in this case the dividend was 0.52 dollar, you can see that the price of the stock just moved by the same amount of the dividend, so the price was 30.92 and then opened at 30.31. And this difference has not been lost but has been paid to the investors. So you have the price of the stock at the closing of day before, minus the dividend that is paid, so you have the opening price the day after. So now let's do a little bit of math and let's try to understand how much will be the price of AT&T after the spin-off of this part of the business and why I'm saying that in terms of cash flow is the same to have a 3.5 year dividend paid in advance. So AT&T market cap in this moment in time is almost 214 billion. Coming back to understand what's happened the day of the split, from these 214 billion that is the value of AT&T today will be spin off 50 billion that is the value that we have previously calculated about Warner Media and Debt. So 214 minus 15 billion it means that the new market cap of AT&T will be 164 billion. Nowadays we have 7.14 billion of AT&T stocks so if we divide 164 by 7.14 billion of stocks, then we have that the new price for AT&T will be something around $23. So the day of the spin-off, we can see the price of the stocks just drop from $30 to $33, losing $50 billion of market cap, that is the value of the business that is going to merge with Discovery. But this situation in terms of cash flow is absolutely the same as so what happened when dividend is paid. In fact, this value is not not lost, but you as an AT&T investor, you still have the AT&T stock and then you will have even the stock of the new company that are worth 50 billion, that is amount that has been deducted here. Then if you decided to sell those new stocks, then you have a positive cash flow that is the same that happened when the dividend is paid. But how much money we are speaking about? So we know that this total value is 50 billion. So 50 billion divided by 7.14 billion of stocks, it means that you will receive $7 for each stock. So nowadays AT&T pays $2 of dividend for each stock. So if we divide our $7 by the $2 dividend, it's 3.5 years of dividend paid in just one shot. So you can cash out those $7 if you just sell the stocks that you will receive. So finally that's why in terms of cash flow is absolutely the same things even if technically it's something different from dividend pay. So now we need to speak about one last point. Many investors are selling AT&T stocks because the company say that after this split the dividend paid will be reduced. Nowadays with $2 for stock you have a dividend yield around 7% and then the new dividend will be something around 3.5% maximum 4%. But please you don't have to forget that after this split you will have the stocks of the new company and you don't know if the new company will pay the dividend itself as well. So your total return will be the sum of those two dividends. Maybe will be again something 
that will be in line with the actual dividend of AT&T. We don't know it in advance, but we need to keep in mind that our total dividend will be the sum of both of two. So at the end, according to me, there are many, many positive things in this kind of deal. So you will have a new market leader in the streaming sector. You will have AT&T that will be again a company that focused on telecommunication sector and will be one of the leader in that sector. Sector. If you are nowadays uh, an investor of AT&T, you will have stocks of both of them and then you can decide to cash out the new stocks that you will receive and is something similar in terms of cash flow in receiving 3.5 years dividend just in advance or you can keep that stock and your total dividend will be the sum of the new AT&T dividend around 3.54% and the new dividend from the new company that we don't know yet. So I'll keep in my portfolio discovery stocks and maybe I'm going to add more stock because I really like this new project and according to me even AT&T stocks nowadays becomes a buy. I would never buy it before but now after this kind of merge for me it's something really to consider as investing let me know your thought just down below in the comment and if you like this kind of content just smash the like button to support our channel with the youtube algorithm you can find as well just above the link with the full discovery value investing analysis and i will leave as well the link with the playlist with all value investing analysis that we have already done for all other companies if you like this kind of video just don't forget to subscribe and i'll meet you in the next video